I'm Tony Irvin from NEAN by RAP Australia. Um, and today we're going to do a, a, a quick but fairly detailed overview of our three most popular oxygen resuscitation bags or oxygen therapy kits. So a family of three, um, all with their own differences, all with their own, um, I guess, advantages. Uh, and, and I'm sure um, when, when, you, when we go through the three in detail that you'll be able to see how one of them will probably fit your needs um, the best. Um, the first one, again, been around for quite a while, new and improved version though, the Oxy Rescue. Uh, it was commonly called the Oxy Boot as well, and you can see by the, the shape of the, uh, especially the, the base kit, that it is uh, boot shaped, I guess. Um, what we've done is put lots of improvements in. So. Uh, some of them are, instead of using the Velcro handles, we've now got magnetic close handles. Makes it much easier to open and, and open the, the straps. Um, again, versus some of the versions you've seen, we've now got a fully uh, coated webbing on, on these handles. They even feature uh, C-clip handles to be able to remove the, um, the handles and replace them if these ever became damaged. So just little things like that are are added in. As I said, uh, it used to be Velcro attachment between the two, now it's magnetic and quite a strong magnetic fit. Um, and now we'll walk through in a bit more detail the bags and um, with all our bags they come either, they typically come as an empty version, but we do also uh, stock the bags to your requirements and we've got several standard versions of that stocking. Um, that we can do for you. All our new professional series, NEAN professional series, are made in a new environment-free fabric, which is an antimicrobial, kills 99% or so of the bugs around. Um, certainly, so versus the earlier versions, that's one improvement. We've already talked about the handles. Um, we've already talked about the magnetic attachment. So getting rid of Velcro, especially if you do remove, or when you remove the top pouch. So if we start, um, by looking basically through the, um, through the bags, probably start with the, the, the kit version first and I'll open it up. In this case, we've actually stocked it with, um, with typical components that we would supply with, um, with, with this bag if people wanted it stocked. As I said, really can tailor that to exactly what people want. But um, in this case, and hopefully that's going to be fairly visible, you'd obviously have your oxygen cylinder. Uh, we don't sell them, they're things that you would supply, but that'll take a, um, a, a C-size cylinder. And typically, as you would get it from us, um, we'd supply the regulator, oxygen regulator. I won't bother. This is one of the allied units, but I won't bother to sort of take it out. You're all familiar with that, or we can cover that off in a separate video later on. And then within the bag, We've got room for the adult and child therapy masks. Uh, we've got pouches, again, a bit hard to see probably, but pouches for, um, for storing other, compa other components in here. Again, more pouches over this side. Um, we've designed it deliberately so you can, with these windows here, you can actually read the, the um, oxygen pressure without having to open the bag. Um, we would also typically supply it with, um, with some extra oxygen tubing and also the, the CPR mask in a, in a hard case. Um, the actual uh, oxygen hose can, um, if we're using a, a suction device, which we can talk about later, that can come through here into the, uh, into the top pouch through um, one of those eyelets there that, that matches up. It's a really neat compact size bag. Um, made to get every, as much gear as you could normally carry or would want to carry into a fairly compact bag, as I said. Really quite reasonably priced. As I said, lots of features that we've added in, including, again, coated handles um, and the removable ones through the C-clips, as we said. Um, the top pouch, just to keep going, um, often people will carry perhaps a BVM in there um, or other bits and pieces. Uh, including the, the linkettes and um, certainly if you did have a suction device um, such as our NEVAC oxygen powered suction uh, that will fit in here and the, uh, the tube and I can 
probably um, go to my little box of tricks and and get, um, so that's our NEVAC suction, um, oxygen powered suction unit. So that will go, um, that will certainly be carried in here. That sits, I won't put it in, but basically sits in this compartment uh, through the loop that we've got there. Um, the hose will connect through through the, um, the eyelet at the bottom, if you can see that, and will actually go into the, the, the pouch at the bottom. Um, and again, um, these come with, and I guess the neat thing about the, the NEVAC um, is that they're, it's a fully disposable system. So these collection canisters that connect onto the, the NEVAC unit, um, when you get aspirant in there, literally you put the lid on and, uh, and, and dispose of it safely. So there's no need to wash any of the suction devices that you're potentially doing now if you're using a reusable device. Probably subject for a di different discussion, but I just wanted to show you that that certainly will fit in uh, in this bag and as will other bits and pieces um, such as uh, bag valve masks, etc. And as you can see with all the loops, we've provided flexibility to put whatever you want in there. So that's a, a quick run through of the Oxy Rescue. As I said, probably one of our most popular bags available in green and blue as a standard. And I think we also have the red available as a made to order item. Second one is the aquatic OTK as we've called it. It's waterproof zips and, and all that sort of stuff. You may be familiar with the shape of this bag, perhaps not the color, but uh, if you look around the beaches, you'll find most of the surf lifesavers uh, that are around are using a yellow version of this bag, essentially this bag. Um, this is new and improved again in the latest uh, environment free antimicrobial fabric. Um, it's, it's basically a mid version, mid size version. Um, certainly, typically, based on the life saving experience, they would want typically just to carry, carry a, a manual um, suction pump, so that would, that would go in that pouch. Um, plenty of room in here. Likewise, um, and I didn't point it out with the Oxy Rescue um, that we talked about earlier, there is a backpack option here to be able to um, pull these backpack straps out and carry it as a backpack or carry it through here. This one's slightly different, um, again, modeled on the surf version. So we still use on this one, we're still using Velcro on the handles um, and, and uh, we, because we call this the aquatic version, it is, it's got um, heavily, heavy duty waterproof zips um, and, and, uh, and a pouch at the front that where you could carry uh, a defib or, or anything else that you wanted to fit in that, that um, front pouch. Typically sold, again, as with all our bags, typically sold as an empty unstocked kit, but we do um, and are more than happy to stock it uh, in line with your requirements. In this particular version, I've stocked it as per the, the, um, the Surf Life Saving Club's requirements, uh, fairly standardised. So as I open the bag up, uh, just to show you a stocked bag, again, you, you wouldn't obviously keep the packaging on, manual suction pump that would, uh, would go in the, in the pouch that I talked about, um, that, that would go there. Um, other components, the regulator, typically the Surf Life Saving Clubs are, are using a 0815 regulator. Won't bother to open that up. And then typically as they're, they're stocked, we include the bag, bag refill valve, uh, sorry, bag refill mask. So we typically include the bag refill mask in there, oxygen cylinder, compartments for storing other bits and pieces, and then uh, I'll turn the bag around, it might be easier to see this way. Um, so typically room for silicon masks there, uh, the Goodell's and again the therapy masks, all neatly laid out, neatly labelled, easy to access. And, um, and I guess as, as you'll know with all our bags, as far as possible, we try and design them to, to work with the way that you work. Um, so that's a, a, a fairly basic bag. 
We do have the, in this at the moment, we've got the option to, uh, to lift the Velcro up, probably a bit hard to see, but it allows you to, again, check the oxygen regulator, uh, check the, the pressure reading and everything without needing to, to unzip the bag. Don't know that that's been used that commonly, and um, um, but it's certainly there as an option at, at the moment. So that's a quick snapshot, as you can see. I will show you a comparison, uh, but it's certainly the mid-sized bag. Carries a lot of gear. You can see, you know, certainly would fit a uh, bag valve mask in there as well as other bits and pieces. These um, compartments are, are removable, but they're not movable, if that makes sense. So that's that bag. And then the big brother, if you like, is our Oxy Rescue Plus, which is um, probably the biggest bag that we've got and carries most stuff. Previously known as the SPO or Soft Pack Oxy. Anyway, this is the new and improved version of, of that bag. Uh, again, as with the others that we've talked about, uh, typically comes or does come with environment free material. Um, we've made it um, as a stock standard product that only comes in this green colour. Um, like the other bags that we've talked about, certainly coated webbing handles um, for reinforcement, certainly the ability to remove those handles. If you can see there with the C-clips, I won't try and demonstrate it, but easy to, to, uh, to remove and replace the handles if required. Um, magnetic handle attachments there. So. Um, typically sold as an empty bag. Um, last feature, I guess, is these fit locks for, uh, for removing the, the handles. Um, so again, you could replace the shoulder sling if required um, with those fit locks. Typically sold empty, as I said, but we do um, also uh, more than happy to stock it to the range of components that you want to carry. This is much bigger, and if I could show you all three bags together, you'd see the different sizes, but this is certainly a bigger bag that will take a lot more stuff. Um, if I start with the uh, opening up the, the compartment, it does, and I guess we've got the option here of only opening to that level, um, and then opening up the bag so that you can see the bits and pieces, the various pouches, and we've got them pre-labeled again to help you when you come to do your job, seeing what's where rather than trying to remember what's where. Um, so we've got the, the, the mask, the therapy mask, room for PPE should you want to carry it. Safety glasses likewise, I guess these days you're probably all wearing that anyway. Uh, room for gloves, a couple of pairs of gloves in there. Even a bit hard to tell, but um, even in there is um, is PPE. So a room for a PPE gown, just a disposable gown. Um, may or may not want that, but that's certainly um, what you get. In this case, we typically would think that um, the 0 to 25 regulator would be the one that uh, is supplied with it. Um, Room obviously for your oxygen cylinder in there. If I open the bag right up, it might show a bit more what we're dealing with. You can hopefully see the uh, room for the, the Goodells in there. We've also put in lots of pouches uh, for things like oxygen hose or whatever, again, whatever you want to carry um, in there. We do, again, just the little smart things. We've gone and built an option to uh, to move these um, pouches so that we've just, at this stage, that's the, the adult BVM, but there is a separate um, child BVM, uh, which I think I've got one of. As a separate item for people that are wanting to even go to that flexibility of carrying further BVM. So in that case, you'd move the adult one to the side and have the child one uh, on the end there. But so ability to carry quite comfortably two, two BVMs, as I said, typically we can, again, stock it to whatever you need, um, room for linkettes on the side, um, a little pouch to carry a finger pulse oximeter, some shears, um, really designed that to carry whatever you want. In this case, we've also got it fitted um, with our NEVAC oxygen powered uh, suction unit and that's in that end pouch. So I'll just open that one up again. Hopefully you can see this well enough as I try and go. So in this end pouch is the, the NEVAC. 
Um, the collection canister, uh, as we've said before, uh, the NEVAC is, comes with a dis fully disposable collection canister. So when you're finished with aspirin, it's just a matter of, of uh, sealing it up and throwing it away and getting a new one. Um, room for your yankers um, and suction hose there. And, um, and the window for the, um, for the oxygen hose for that NEVAC comes, comes through into the other compartment. So with, again, little pouches for or, or loops for, uh, for attaching whatever. So look in a snapshot, um, fantastic bag, one of our biggest and um, I guess an ability to carry the most stuff. So there you have it. That's our Neon Oxy Rescue Plus. Hopefully you're able to see how we put our decades of design experience into developing a bag for you that addresses some or all of the common issues that emergency responders experience with other bags. Namely, organisation and layout, chaos versus calm, initial price versus the total value and cost of ownership over the journey, and also OH&S and environmental concerns, including environment-free antimicrobial fabric. The NEAN team here at Rap Australia would love to help you with any issues, challenges, problems that you've got and help you find a bag that's exactly fit for your use. Give us a call, send us an email, we'd love to hear from you. And thanks very much for listening. Bye now.